You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. should be over the things that happened to me. I'm to blame. It has to be my fault. Why else would it have happened? These are just a few of the statements many clients have said to author and mental health professional Kelly James over the years. Kelly James, the host of Why Aren't You Over This By Now, kept searching for something that would help her feel better after things that happened in her personal life. Finally, she found a way to heal her past in order to love her future and is here to share her discoveries and help the lives of others. So please welcome the host of Aren't You Over This By Now, Kelly James. Welcome to the show. You're listening on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. You're listening to Why Aren't You Over This By Now, and I'm your host, Dr. Kelly James. I have my guest and co-author, Susan Bachman, with us today. Hello, Susan. Hello, Kelly. I'm glad to be back again. Good. So I'm going to give away some free books, okay? So I'm looking forward to mailing five more free books to the first five people who email me their name and their address to why aren't you over this by now at gmail.com. And the aren't does not have an apostrophe. So just why aren't you over this by now at gmail.com. Or you can order the book at why aren't you over this by now.org. And Susan, can you just share briefly why we wrote this book? We wrote this book because we do so much work with people who have been through traumatic experiences. And as we have said several times on previous shows, a trauma is anything that is unexpected, overwhelming, or prolonged. And we spend quite a bit of time in early therapy sessions teaching people about trauma and why it is distressing and what it does to people and why it's not that easy to get over and decided that we could speed trauma along if we put it in a book and we could help more people besides the ones that come to see us in therapy. Sure. And there are plenty of really good uh, trauma books out there, in-depth trauma books that are available. And we didn't find any for people who might have um, be seeking trauma. So we just wanted to write one that was simple, easy to follow, and says, this is why you act and behave the way you do. That's why we did that. We found many, many books written for professionals, for mental health professionals. This yes. one is written for the non-professional. Yes. So I'm going to... Um, we're going to jump into our show topic. We're going to talk about the emotion code. And a couple of years ago, I was reading a book called It Didn't Start With You by Mark Wolin. And I told Susan, Susan, you've got to read this book. It's so cool. And she said, oh, but you have to read the emotion code book when you get finished with that. So I found the book and I started reading it. And Susan, can you tell where you had found that book? Because I had never heard of it before you told me. I actually learned about the emotion code from a client, and this was somebody that was doing EMDR therapy, which we talked about last week, um, and it really wasn't going anywhere. She, came, she, she seemed kind of stuck. Well, she found a chiropractor who does the emotion code work and told me about it and said, you have to read this book. And I read it and was so fascinated that I went to see this chiropractor and said, I, I need a few emotion code sessions because I need to know what this is. And after a couple of sessions with him, I was completely on board with it. And I started reading the book. And before I even got partway through it, 
I paid for the certification to get certified. So Susan and I are both certified emotion code practice, practitioners at this time. We're also body code practitioners. So have you ever felt like you weren't yourself or like something was weighing you down or something just didn't feel quite right? For myself, I call it prickly. When I feel prickly, I know something's going on and it might be a trapped emotion. And so I've gotten really in tune with my body. And so when I feel that prickly feeling, I just stop and check myself and, and see what is trapped. So can you tell us what a trapped emotion is or what the emotion code is, Susan? Well, to put it really simply, the emotion code is of, of the methods I'm aware of, the simplest, easiest, and fastest way to find emotional baggage Many of us are familiar with the term emotional baggage and release it. Uh, and you can release it from yourself or someone else. Uh, you talk about feeling prickly. When <laughs> I get up with that feeling of I don't want to do anything today, I don't want to get out of bed, that's when I know to check myself because I'm probably carrying some trapped emotions that I need to release. Yeah, definitely. And even doing it with clients. It's it's just fascinating work. I love doing this. And we're going to talk more about how we incorporate this into our practice. And Dr. Nelson wrote this book as a self-help book. And you can use it on yourself. You can use it with other people. There are certified practitioners across, across the country. I know even some in other parts of the world that are um, certified practitioners that other people can call up and use. And he talks about, Dr. Nelson talks about how you can enjoy a better life, being free from these trapped emotions. And it's essentially taking your life back instead of being a prisoner to those emotions. And it's a new way to think about emotions because our bodies are made of energy. Everything in our universe is energy, but our, we're 99.99999% energy and a sliver of matter. It's 0. 0.00001 particle. And these everything is our emotion our everything is energy. Emotions, our thoughts, our words, our memories, everything is energy. Even Dr. Candace Pert in her book, The Molecules of Emotions, explained that her research found that unprocessed emotions in the body actually become stuck and affect their whole body system. And each, each emotion that we have, and there are many of them, has a different energetic vibration. I grew up kind of thinking that thoughts and emotions were these ephemeral things that were somewhere in our brain, maybe just an electrical impulse in the brain, but they actually have a physical existence. They are a vibrating mass of energy. Um, negative emotions have a lower vibration than positive ones. Um, Physical objects are more dense. They are a more dense form of energy. So that's why you can put your hand through a cloud. You can put your hand through steam. You probably don't want to. Probably burn. <laughs> uh, you can put your hand into a whipped cream, but you can't put your hand through your desk because it's more dense. Um, so this energy can get trapped in our body. And all objects have an energy field. That's something else many of us don't know. But if you're interested in this, look up Kirlian photography. Just look it up. Um, it's, a, it's a method of photography that can capture the energy field of objects. Uh, and there's a fascinating photograph there that shows a leaf. They took one of these photographs of a leaf, and you can see the glowing energy around the outline of the leaf. And then they cut the top of the leaf off and took another photograph. And in the second photograph, you can still see the energy field of the top half of the leaf, even though it's physically not there. That's really cool. And what about um, trapped emotions? Do they have energy? Well, they are energy. And <laughs> yes, they are. They're, and this is, this is a concept that's not unique to the emotion code. Um, it's known in many cultures and many languages. Some cultures call it prana, call it chi, call it ki. It's not a new concept. Um, it might be new to Western medicine. Correct. 
And this collection of symptoms that we go to doctors for are a disease. And so um, stress has been known to suppress the immune system. And according to research, 60 to 80 percent of doctor's office visits are stress related. So when we come back, we're going to talk more about that, more about energy and how what you can do with it, how to get rid of it. You're listening on BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. I am your host, Dr. Kelly James. You're listening to Why Aren't You Over This By Now? We're talking about the emotion code, and we will be right back after this break, so be sure to stay tuned. Essential Nutrients, LLC, is the brainchild of entrepreneur Barbara Burns. Inspired by a desire to help others, Barbara worked with a team of scientists to develop unique nutritional liquid supplements with the goal to improve the quality of your life. Glucosamine, zinc, and calcium are essential to well-being, and this is the focus of Essential Nutrients, LLC. Whether you're a professional athlete, weekend warrior, student, business owner, or homemaker, Essential Nutrients offers products for everyone, including the family pet. And they're easy to take, no pills. Health requires commitment, exercise, a good diet, proper supplementation, and action. So take action today and get your supply of essential liquid nutrients by visiting www.essential-liquids.com. Don't put off your health any longer. Take essential products today and start to measure the difference. Unleash the obstacles that bind you with certified professional coach Joanne Charette, a master practitioner in energy leadership. Joanne can help you break through personal and professional barriers and guide you to a higher level of empowerment and fulfillment. Passionate and dedicated, Joanne engages with her clients on a mutual journey. Her dynamic energy will motivate you to move forward as you partner on a venture to greater results. Isn't it time to make a breakthrough and commit to live the life you deserve? Invest in yourself and let Joanne Charette be the catalyst to the realization of your dreams by making them a reality. Based in Quebec, Canada, Joanne is also a space coach using social media and Skype to work with anyone, anywhere around the world. Contact Joanne Charette today at 819-360-3266 or email her at actionrealization at live.ca 819-360-3266 Now is your time. Welcome back to Why Aren't You Over This By Now? I'm your host, Dr. Kelly James. You're listening live on BBM Global Network and tune in radio. The call-in number is 866-451-1451. If you want to call in, ask a question, make a comment about our topic or any other topic that you choose. So, Susan, before the break, we were talking about stress and how stress causes disease (laughs) and energy. And energy doesn't go away. It's always here. It can change forms. But it doesn't ever go away, right? It doesn't go away. So the energy of emotions, if when we have an emotion, an event happens, we have an emotion about it. If we are not able to express that emotion, accept it, and then let it pass through, that's when it can become trapped in our body. And Dr. Nelson says trapped emotions are the number one cause of disease. Like you just said, doctors say 60 to 80 percent of the patients they see suffering from a stress-related condition, in our, in our language, that would mean trapped emotions. So no, Correct. energy doesn't go away, and like energy attracts like energy. So if you're filled with negative emotions, if you're not emotionally healthy, you will be attracted to and you will attract un healthy people to you uh, and then wonder why you wonder why <laughs> yeah. this keeps happening to me why do I keep ending up in these toxic relationships yes I have clients that come in and they they're over they've ended a relationship and before they've done all of their work they go back into another unhealthy relationship and it's just the cycle and I always tell them you will attract the same person as your own emotional health. So you have to be healthy. Get healthy before getting into a relationship. That's something they teach in 12-step recovery programs. 
They don't say it exactly that way. They say, work with your recovery for a year before you get into a relationship. So I call it, do your own work. <laughs> yes, Clean do out your, your emotional work. garbage. Finish your work before you get into a relationship. And then you'll have healthy energy going out and you'll attract healthy people. So Susan, are there other ways to have trapped emotions? Not only can we trap them in our bodies because we don't process the emotions we feel about the things that happen to us, but we can absorb emotions from other people. Even Mm -hmm. before I knew about the emotion code, I used to tell clients, you know, uh, emotions are contagious. If you are around someone who's depressed, it's easy to become depressed. So we can quite literally absorb that energy from another person. And we can inherit emotions. Yeah, inherited emotions are interesting, aren't they? And and we're not talking that emotions are bad. Emotions are good. Emotions make us feel alive. Without emotions, our life would be dull. It'd be colorless. And each emotion, like we said, has its own vibrational frequency. And in the therapeutic language, inherited emotions is considered generational transmission of trauma, of emotions. Again, in Mark Wolin's book, It Didn't Start With You, he describes that. And it was interesting to me when I started reading that book that he had a client who had come in for her session and she said she wanted to kill herself. And so he started exploring that and seeing if she had a plan. And her plan was that she was going to vaporize herself. She was going to just vaporize herself and you think how do you vaporize yourself and she had a brother who worked at a steel mill and she was going to go run and jump in one of the vats of steel which would definitely vaporize someone and when they started exploring the history of it they discovered that she had ancestors who had been in the holocaust and so it was actually just a transgenerational trauma that had been passed down for generations because she had ancestors who had been vaporized they had been burned in the ovens yep um uh, you know an example i i talked in a previous show i have this phobia about wasps and bees and it's really an unreasonable fear but i -hmm. hold on to it (laughs) when my mother i haven't worked on it when my mother was (laughs) pregnant with me, uh, she rescued my two-year-old brother from a swarm of bumblebees who were after him. So she grabbed him up and she ran around the house, into the house to get away from these bumblebees. And she and I have both wondered if that's not the real root of my fear of bees. Susan, you should... You should test yourself before the next show and let the audience know if that's really what that was from. Because that would be interesting to know. I could do that. So I, yeah, I had a spot on my foot, on my left foot, about the size of a quarter. And the medical doctor said it was arthritis. And then Susan had told me about this chiropractor in town that... Do you ever wonder why certain things are happening in your life? How to start a business or a new direction? Need answers? Astrologer Bonnie Perbula can help you reveal your true self and gain strength and focus so you can achieve greater joy and success. Working with a natal birth date, time, and location, Bonnie brings out qualities to aid you in getting the best from your life. She can help you unlock dormant traits to bring you greater awareness. Bonnie also conducts public speaking engagements to educate aspiring astrologers on their journey to the stars. A gifted artist, Bonnie bridges her talents and recently launched a line of Astro Bears, uniquely created in colors of individuals' astrology charts. She also makes one-of-a-kind necklaces of crystal beads and woven thread. To learn more about the world of Bonnie Prabula, go to BonnieGPrabula.com. And for astrology consulting, visit AstrologyConsultants.com or call or email her at 808-526-1536 or BonnieGP at AOL.com. Essential Nutrients, LLC, is the brainchild of entrepreneur Barbara Burns. Inspired by a desire to help others, Barbara worked with a team of scientists to develop unique nutritional liquid supplements with the goal to improve the quality of your life. Glucosamine, zinc, and calcium are essential to well-being, and this is the focus of Essential Nutrients, LLC. 
Whether you're a professional athlete, weekend warrior, student, business owner, or homemaker, Essential Nutrients offers products for everyone, including the family pet. And they're easy to take, no pills. Health requires commitment, exercise, a good diet, proper supplementation, and action. So take action today and get your supply of essential liquid nutrients by visiting www.essential-liquids.com. Don't put off your health any longer. Take essential products today and start to measure the difference. Welcome back to BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. I'm your host, Dr. Kelly James. You're listening to Why Aren't You Over This By Now? Sorry, we had a technical glitch, and so my voice will sound a little different, but we're just going to keep on going and share about the emotion code. Susan, before that glitch, I was talking about uh, a spot on my foot that the medical doctor said was arthritis, and you had told me to go to this chiropractor in town that did emotion coding. And when I went in, he discovered that it was a trapped emotion from my mother, and he released it. And that, my foot had hurt for years. And when he released that, it quit hurting, and it's been over two years. So it hasn't hurt in two years. But the medical doctor said it was arthritis. And you've had some similar things, too. It was not. Well, Well, my first first trip trip to that that same same chiropractor, chiropractor, I complained about about, um, um, when I have running injuries, they're always on my right side, right hip, right leg, right knee, uh, foot, and in addition to that, I have a thing about running in the cold. So he did a motion code work on me. It was trapped emotions of terror. goes back to almost infancy, something about my relationship with my father. We cleared that up, and I don't have near the uh, dislike of running in the cold that I used to. Oh, well, that's really cool then, isn't it? Mm-hmm. That's really great. Um, So you might be asking how all this works. Well, it works with your subconscious. Your subconscious mind knows everything. It is a supercomputer that starts recording things about you from conception to present day. And so it knows everything about you. And, And so if you think of the image of an iceberg, and the the ice that's above the water it is considered your conscious mind, which works 5 to 10% of the time. And the mass that's below the water is the subconscious mind, kind of representative of the subconscious mind. And it's working 90 to 95% of the time and is recording everything about you. And so you can ask your subconscious mind questions. So your conscious mind has... Um, receives input, it, you analyze, you think with that. Remember we talked about the four levels of memory. And then the subconscious mind knows when we're out of balance. It knows when emotions are trapped. knows when we need healing. It knows everything. And the idea that the subconscious mind knows what we need to be healthy is not a new idea. This is the basis of many forms of mental health therapy. Uh, It's about learning to trust the inner self and learning to communicate with the inner self, with the subconscious. And and this is about the power of our mind. That's why placebos work. Most of us are familiar with placebos, and they can bring about healing without having any real medically active ingredient. And according to Dr. Joe Dispenza, In his book, You Are the Placebo, even when people know they're taking a placebo, they can work. Yes, and so muscle testing, this is how we do this. We muscle test with the subconscious by asking yes and no questions. And muscle testing has been around since the 1940s, and it was originally used with uh, polio victims and checking their muscle weakness. And so Dr. Goodhart created a new technique called applied kinesiology. And he, most American chiropractors use this, nutritionists use this, energy healers use this. And basically kinesiology style muscle testing is used 
to test the weaknesses or the strength of a muscle. And over a million practitioners use this. And it can indicate some type of stress, some type of abnormal nervous system input. And we have discovered it through reading the emotion code and then practicing with it and using it that asking yes, no questions, our bodies will go strong, will respond with strength. Our muscles will be strong if the answer is yes. Our bodies will be strong and will sway forward to things that are true and healthy and good for us. And our muscles will go weak or our body will sway backward. If we're standing up and you can let your body sway back and forward, our bodies will sway backward away from things that are false or unhealthy for us. That's how we get the answers uh, to what emotions are trapped in the body. Yeah, so you can get, get, go ahead, Susan. But muscle testing is not 100% accurate. So you can use it to identify emotional energy that's trapped in the body. It is not to be used to try and diagnose medical conditions. You can't tell the future with it. You can't pick winning lottery numbers with it. It's, but it can lead to clearing trapped emotions that will promote a healthier way of being. And muscle testing is completely safe. And Susan, you have a funny story about um, muscle testing and how to ask questions. It is important to ask the right question when you're muscle testing because your body will answer the question that you ask. I was taking a supplement that a friend of mine was advocating and and there were all healthy ingredients in this supplement and it was supposed to boost your energy and help you lose weight and it was kind of a magic elixir and I started taking it and after several weeks I noticed no difference at all and so I kept a muscle testing is this supplement good for me and I kept getting the answer yes over and over and over yes this is good for you and so I finally asked does my body need this supplement? And then I got to know. And that's when I quit taking it. I saved my money. Yes, because it wasn't helpful. So my, Dr. Nelson goes into detail about muscle testing in his book, The Emotion Code. So if you want to know more about that, you can get his book. So there are lots of ways to do muscle testing. Susan, do you want to explain some of that? Um, the, f- the first way I learned to muscle test, and this is described in the book, is the body sway. And you, if you just stand relaxed and notice that we don't stand completely still, our body moves and we will sway back and forth a little bit. And then ask yourself a question that's true. And the easiest one to start with is, my name is. And if you say, my name is, and you give your right name, your body will sway forward. And then if you say something that's false, like my name is George or my name is Alice, assuming that's not your name, uh, your body will sway backward. Pretty much everyone will sway backward to the question, to the statement, Diet Coke is good for me. And it always makes people laugh. So try it. Ask yourself, is Diet Coke good for me? And sometimes it takes a little practicing to do it. I know when I first read the book and was practicing this way, I I had to practice and and kind of get familiar with it and feel confident in yes and no. And again, he talks about a variety of different ways to muscle test. I think there's like 10 different ways you can do muscle testing. Isn't that right, Susan? Yeah, so it's about trying out the different ways he describes and see which one is comfortable for you and which one works for you. Right. And there's also the ability to muscle test from a distance. You want to talk about that? Because this is where it might get weird. And this is where it starts to get weird because this is energy work and energy is not bound by physical location. So you can muscle test other people. Now, if you're in the same room with other people, their energy field extends about 12 feet in diameter so you will be in the energy field of the other person but you can muscle test people who are not even in the same city 
because energy is not bound by distance. Right. And my son called me the other day and asked me to check his shoulder, and I did. And before I could even respond to the text, he said he already felt better. So we'll talk more about that and the subconscious mind and how you release trapped emotions when we come back. You're listening live on BBM Global Networks and Tune In Radio. I am your host, Dr. Kelly James. You are listening to Why Aren't You Over This By Now? Be sure to stay tuned. We'll be right back. According to the American Nurses Association, there are approximately three and a half to four million nurses in the United States. So where do all these nurses work? What kind of roles do they have? What kind of education and training help to prepare them for so many different settings? What kind of impact do nurses have on patient outcomes? The World Health Organization has announced that 2020 will be the year of the nurse, honoring the 200th birth anniversary of Florence Nightingale, an international initiative called Nurse. Nursing Now is underway to raise the profile of nursing. The National Academy of Medicine has convened a committee to create the future of nursing 2020 to 2030 that will focus on how the nursing profession can create a culture of health, reduce health disparities, and improve the health and well-being of the U.S. population. Learn more and join Joyce Batchelor on All About Nursing, Wednesdays from 7 to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time on the BBM Global Network. Author, radio show host, and coach, John M. Hawkins, reveals strategies to help gain perspective, build confidence, find clarity, achieve goals. John M. Hawkins' new book, Coached to Greatness, Unlock Your Full Potential with Limitless Growth, published by iUniverse. Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them, rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Welcome back to Why Aren't You Over This By Now? You're listening live on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio, and I'm your host, Dr. Kelly James. Before the break, we were talking about the emotion code and our subconscious and releasing emotion. And Susan, there's a chart of emotions, right? And in this chart, there are rows and columns, and our emotions know that, right? Can you explain how the emotions, well, our subconscious knows that? Well, you commented that being able to muscle test another person from a distance was weird. And here's a, here's another level of weird. Our subconscious minds know this chart. So I can begin asking yes, no questions. Do you have a trapped emotion that's in column A or column B? Is it on an even row or an odd numbered row? And get yes, no questions. And each box has five emotions in it. And you just go down the box and ask, is it... Depression, is it frustration, is it indecisiveness, is it panic? And you will get an answer because our subconscious minds know that chart. And this isn't entirely a novel idea either. Carl Jung talked about a collective consciousness. Okay. And so if you're looking at the chart, you can say, do I have a trapped emotion? And if your body responds yes, you say, is the trapped emotion in column A? And you get a yes. And you start going through the rows. So if you're looking for, let's say, you, you don't look for the emotion first. You let the subconscious tell you what the emotion is. So if you had a trapped emotion of guilt, it would be in column A, row four. And it would be that specific emotion. And so Dr. Nelson designed this chart so that you can get to one box and I know that sounds kind of odd but there are five emotions in each box and so you can get to the emotions more quickly so it doesn't take a long time to get to them so you can release quite a few emotions in a session and one of the things you do with muscle testing is you're going to expose you're going to expose the emotion that's causing the problem physical issues emotional issues you're going to release it 
you're going to release that potentially harmful energy, which then empowers yourself to be restored to your emotional and physical balance. And you just keep asking the body questions, yes and no questions. Um, can I release more emotions? And when I'm working with a client, they say, are there more we can release today? The cool thing, you can ask a variety of questions before you know, you're finished releasing them. You can ask, when did it happen? What age were you? Is there anyone else involved in this? Was it a specific event? Is it inherited? You can even find out where it's actually trapped in your body. And how do we do... You, you had something to say about that, Susan? Well, I was just going to ask, so once once you identify a trapped emotion, how do you release it? You release it with magnets. We use magnets, and everything's magnetic. And so it's it's really interesting because Dr. Nelson talks about these Nikon magnets, and Susan and I both have one. But you can use refrigerator magnets. You can even use your fingers because your fingers are magnetic because energy flows through us. And the way you release that is we have a governing meridian in our body. And that starts at the top of our lip. And it goes all the way back to the base of the spine. And the meridians are for the energy flow of our body, like the acupuncture meridians. And so that governing meridian, when you take the magnet and you roll it over, if I'm working on myself, I roll it over the back of my head to the base of my neck. And when I'm working with a client, I just roll it down their back and it releases the trapped emotions. And there are cautions with using a magnet. You don't want to use it on anyone that has a pacemaker or any kind of medical device installed. And you definitely don't want to use it on a pregnant woman. So I have worked with some pregnant women using the emotion code and instead of using a magnet, running a magnet down their back, I use my hand. I just run my fingers down their back. It works just the same and it doesn't create any risk to the baby. Right. Um, each emotion has to be specifically identified and released individually according to you, Dr. Bradley Nelson. Now, there are some other practitioners that think you can group these and release groups of emotions. I tend to release them one at a time, um, according to Dr. Nelson. The other caution about this work is, again, we're not diagnosing medical conditions. We're not substituting medical care or medical advice. We're not advocating that people avoid medical care. What the emotion code does is offer relief from trapped emotions and it helps people feel better. And sometimes it does relieve physical pain or physical symptoms, but we're not doctors. Right, and so we don't do any kind of claim about that. And Dr. Nelson talks in his research, and he said he spent like 30 years doing this, that his research said that most people have about 350 trapped emotions. In my experience with clients, we've released as little as five, but it's usually between 10 and 15. The most I've ever released in one session is about uh, 18, and that takes 20, 25 minutes to do that. Is that your experience too, Susan? Yes, it is. Usually, you know, 10 to 12 to 15 uh, emotions in one session, and after each release, you ask the question, can you release another emotion? When the body says no, it's really important to stop. I learned this the hard way, working on myself. If you keep going after your body says, that's all I want to do today, you can get sick. And I've often wondered, why did I have to get sick three times before I figured that out? But I did. Um, I had a I had a client uh, who insisted that we clear a heart wall. We were going to talk about heart wall in one session. And against my advice, we did. And she called back quite sick, flu-like symptoms. Oh, wow. That's really so, bad. That's not a good thing. Yeah, so you want to pay attention to your body because your subconscious knows. It knows how much you can handle and what you can't handle. 
So we're going to continue talking about trapped emotions, and we're going to get into the heart wall when we come back, which is really interesting. We have some interesting stories here. And you are listening to Why Aren't You Over This By Now on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And I am your host, Dr. Kelly James. Be sure and stay tuned because we're going to have some exciting things to share when we come back. Mike Zorick, a three-time California state champion in Greco-Roman wrestling at 114 pounds. Mike, blind since birth, was born in Hartford, Connecticut. He was a six-time national placer, including two seconds, two-thirds, and two-fourths. He also won the Veterans Folk Style Wrestling twice at 152 pounds. In all these tournaments, he was the only blind competitor. Nancy Zorick, a creative spirit whose talents have taken her to the stage and into galleries and exhibitions in several states. Her father, a commercial artist who shared his instruments with his daughter and helped her fine-tune her natural abilities, influenced her decision to follow in his footsteps. Ms. Zorick has enjoyed a fruitful career doing what she loves. Listen Saturday mornings at 12 Eastern for The Nancy and Mike Show for heartwarming stories and interesting talk on the BBM Global Network. Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality, but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating? Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside, you know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416 529 7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well, be aware, be magical. Welcome back. I'm your host, Dr. Kelly James. You're listening on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. The show is Why Aren't You Over This By Now? Before we left, we were talking about emotions and trapped emotions and energy and how to release those with magnets. And we want to talk about heart walls because this is really important. Because have you ever been hurt emotionally? Has everyone, anyone ever hurt your feelings? Or you feel like you needed to put up an imaginary wall to protect yourself from something or someone? We all have. And we know that the heart is the center of our being. And research has shown that we have three brains. So we have a head brain, a heart brain, and a gut brain. And that the heart brain is more powerful than the head brain. The heart brain actually generates from 60 to 1,000 times more power and electromagnetic energy than our brains, which makes it the most powerful organ in our body. And scientists have discovered that the electromagnetic signals radiating from your heart can actually be detected in the brain waves of another person. It's strongest when two people are touching, but it's still measurable if they're at a distance. And the Heart Math Institute in California showed that our heart emits energy 12 feet from us. So we are energetically bumping into people all day long. How, can you explain how we do that? Well, this kind of plays into what we talked about. If you walk into a room where no one is saying anything, but everyone's upset or everyone's angry, you can tell, you can feel it. And it's that we're, we're constantly broadcasting emotional energy and receiving it from other people. So it's like we're swimming in it. It's not unlike um, cell phone signals, router signals. We're never away from them. We're also never away from this emotional energy. And the idea that our heart is the core of our being more than our brain is not entirely new either. Our everyday language supports it. We say, what does your heart say? What's your heart's desire? Follow your heart. And our hearts are vulnerable to emotional injury. We talk about heartbreak and heartache. The words are accurate. Our hearts have their own unique intelligent 
intelligence and can guide us if we learn to follow it. Sure. And our hearts are continually sending out information to our body. It affects our physical body. When we've been hurt, our bodies and our minds can wrap negative emotions around our heart and build a wall. And this wall is an attempt to protect ourselves and from something or someone. And the subconscious mind will use the energy of the trapped emotion to create an invisible barrier or shield. But what happens is when you've created that heart wall, it also prevents you from giving and receiving love. And the energy we send out to others and the energy others can't send to us, so it gets distorted and it's passing through this wall. And Dr. Nelson talks about that he believes 93% of people have a heart wall. You think 93% of it, that's, that's an extremely high number, but we've all been hurt. And, yeah, a heart wall creates this disconnection from others, and it creates loneliness. And it plays a part in all of those repeated toxic relationships we were talking about. One of the people I worked with who turned out to have a heart wall, um, personality changed dramatically when his heart wall was cleared. He said, I can feel now. I've never felt emotions before. And it went so far as he had had a previous therapist tell him he had an antisocial personality disorder. He didn't. He was just hidden behind a very thick heart wall. That's incredible. So he had this incredible pain that his body built a heart wall around. And then he started getting, I mean, antisocial personality disorder is a pretty severe disorder and a diagnosis. And how long did it take you, I mean, when working with this guy? Oh, we cleared his heart wall in two or three sessions, and he was dramatically different. Wow. And so our heart wall prevents us from opening our heart to others. So what we're saying in essence is a heart wall will make us numb to others, and it makes it more difficult to feel emotions, to be connected, but the heart wall comes at a cost, doesn't it, Susan? It, yes, it does. And the cost is disconnection from other people. And loneliness. Our subconscious works in symbols. So when our, when our subconscious builds these heart walls, they will be built out of some material that our subconscious mm -hmm. chooses. So I have worked with people who've had heart walls made out of wood. Sometimes we need to know what kind of wood. So they've been teak, they've been walnut. Um, they've been made out of steel. They've been made out of several kinds of stone, including granite, marble, gemstones. Came across one one time made of diamonds. Um, oh. I've heard them made of plants, trees, really? grass, fabrics, rubber. Came across one last week made of rubber. And I've not ever had one made of diamonds, but I've actually had a number that have, were distances. There were many, many distances. And it usually takes, my experience is it usually takes three or four times to clear a heart wall. And what happens after a heart wall is cleared, Susan? People will notice not only do they feel free, they'll talk about feeling lighter feeling freer, feeling happier, and they notice that other people respond to them differently. I had one person tell me after the heart wall was cleared, this person's ex quit harassing her. This started leaving her alone, something that she had wanted for a long time. Wow. I know a person who had a heart wall that was 365 miles. And so what the, this working with a clinician, it took four sessions to clear it. And being around this person, the person was a completely different person afterwards. Prior to the heart wall being cleared, had a lot of anxiety, that nervous energy, and, and you know, it was kind of hard to be around sometimes. And after that, that anxiety was completely gone. And you're very pleasant to be around. Sometimes it's not yet 
safe to clear a heart wall? That's another question that you have to ask the subconscious. Are you ready to clear your heart wall? So if a person is still experiencing the hurt that caused them to create a heart wall, they may not be able to clear it yet. I had one person tell me they could feel the heart wall going back up because the situation that created it was still happening. So we couldn't begin working on that heart wall yet. Um, there was work to do to change the environment that was creating all that hurt. And Susan, can children have heart walls? <clears throat> yes, they absolutely can. Children are more helpless and trusting and vulnerable and tender than we give them credit for. Yeah, they are. Okay. So we will continue talking a little bit about heart walls when we come back and more about the emotion code. You are listening on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. I am your host, Dr. Kelly James. You're listening to Why Aren't You Over This By Now? Be sure and stay tuned. Certified professional coach Pamela Reeves can help you with your relationships. Motivational and image coaching are just some of the ways she can help you enhance all aspects of your life. Her book, Is It Love or Merely a Sick Attachment?, helps readers clearly distinguish healthy, loving relationships from toxic ones. Ms. Reeves has put her words into action through Ray of Hope Kenya, an international initiative that provides outreach to victims of abusive relationships there with the goal of helping them rebuild their lives and the tools to avoid abuse. Ms. Reeves operates various business interests through her umbrella network, Nella LLC, and credits her success to her diverse work experience. Whatever your goals, whether striking a balance, reinventing your image, or simply lifting your lifestyle, Pamela Reeves will help you achieve them. Your life, your call. Dial 410-902-5715 or email Pamela at pamreg01 at verizon.net. She's also on the web at pamreeves.com and on Twitter at Pamela underscore Reeves. Do you battle with weight loss? There is a solution. Founder of Weight No More Consulting, Deborah Simons, can help you lose weight safely and effectively through weight loss surgery. I know. I had the surgery two years ago, and I am 135 pounds lighter and medication-free. This full-service weight loss center caters to your every need as you navigate to a healthy weight following surgery. Servicing all of Canada, Wait No More Consulting takes pride in its compassionate care and guides you through each step before and after surgery. Starting with informational meetings, Wait No More Consulting educates each potential client before they decide to have surgery on the health risks of obesity and the various weight loss surgeries available. After surgery, Wait No More Consulting provides a solid support system with ongoing meetings to ensure continued success. Deborah Simons and Wait No More Consulting are committed to promoting your health and wellness through maintaining a healthy weight for life. Welcome back to Why Aren't You Over This By Now? I am your host, Dr. Kelly James, and you are listening live on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Susan, before the break, we talked about a heart wall, and you and I both do EMDR therapy. We do emotion code therapy, and how how do you combine those two? I have mentioned that I've had uh, more than one client that just seemed to be stuck. Uh, EMDR didn't seem to be progressing, or they weren't willing to do EMDR therapy. Sometimes it's a little scary. Um, when we went into emotion code, we cleared some trapped emotions first, and then their EMDR started working much better. I had another example. I was doing some EMDR with someone during EMDR processing. I heard a very strong negative core belief, and it was something like, I'm worthless, and I just knew. At that moment, we had to stop. We had to release trapped emotions around that belief of I'm worthless. What was the underlying cause of that belief? Once we cleared that, we went back. The EMDR worked much better, much more quickly. Right. And I've used EMDR and then at the end of the session would do a motion code. Sometimes I've done a motion code at the beginning of the session Before we've done EMDR, I actually even just do a motion code session with people, so I can use it in a variety of ways. And you have two rules about feelings. Can you share those? I do have two rules about feelings. 
because sometimes people are afraid of their emotions. That's one of the reasons sometimes people are hesitant to do EMDR. My two rules about emotions. The first one is they will not kill you. And the second one is that they change. So if you're feeling angry right now, if you're feeling hopeless right now, you will not feel that way forever. Feelings change, and they will not Feelings kill you. change, and they won't. And so one of the things we think is really important for us to share is we do want to acknowledge that the emotion code does not promise a cure because it is unethical and impossible to predict. We are never recommending substituting the emotion code over your doctor's advice. We are not diagnosing medical conditions or diseases, and we're not meaning to interfere with any medical provider and his or her recommendations. Susan and I are both licensed mental mental health professionals, so we do have the ability to diagnose mental health issues. I also wanted to say, be sure and send me an email to whyaren'tyouoverthisbynow at gmail.com. And I will mail you a free book, and you'll also get a free bracelet. Susan's website is ftrctulsa.org, and mine is whyaren'tyouoverthisbynow.org. You've been listening to Why Aren't You Over This By Now on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio, and I'm your host, Dr. Kelly James. And we are going to be sharing about the body code next session, so we are excited to share about that and we have another guest coming on so i want to leave you with one last positive thought choose choose to make your emotional health a priority because you are worth it Mm -hmm. we'll see you next week you've been listening to why aren't you over this by now with your host kelly james kelly says the truth is that we all have things that happen in our lives we all have stuff you can live life the way you want Tune in each week and discover that there's hope for healing your past beyond traditional talk therapy right here on Kelly James's Why Aren't You Over This By Now? You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.